Hi, everybody. Hi, Izzy. How y'all doing tonight? I think I can see y'all. <laughs> uh, how's everybody doing? Okay, you can see the wreath. I think we're good. And I see a comment. Hi, Peggy. Oh, thank you all for coming in tonight. This is awesome. Yay. This, I have to tell you, this, this has been a ride. And um, just designing the sign, designing the gnome, there's been so many things that went wrong and had to be readjusted. And it's finally done. So I'll tell you what. Yeah. It, and then over the weekend, my printer was printing black where it should have been printing light. So everything that could go wrong has gone wrong. So we're finally here. I'm finally gonna reveal the new sign. Um, I'm very proud of it. There it is. We added the beehive, the bees. We added wings to the bee gnome. We changed the beard to be a full beard. This is it. This is Let's see, am I out of the light? Can you guys see it? Let me see if I tilt it that way. There we go. This has been a journey and so many people have helped me along the way. I, I am just amazed. It, it, it's, been, it's been fun. <laughs> there were trials and tribulations, but for the most part, it's been fun. So, thank you. And then I found out through sublimating my signs that I can now sublimate, print my own fabric. That's what the holdup was. We couldn't find the B fabric anywhere, the stripes. So this was all designed by me, all printed by me, the whole thing, down to the wings. Hi, Angie. So there he is in all his glory, and it's taken a long time to get to today. But isn't that cool? We've, if you can see from the sign, we have that cheetah print over top of the hat, and it's over the top of the hat here too. The wings are made of this really heavy duty felt that has, um, has like um, glitter in it, and the glitter maintained the heat temp and is still there. He's looking a little kooky here. <laughs> but this is what I've been working so hard at the last two and a half weeks. When I thought we were gonna be able to release it, it didn't happen. When I thought I was gonna be able to print the fabric, we had a problem there. So every step of the way, we had to overcome a lot. And like I said, I have really awesome friends who are so supportive throughout the whole process that I could not have done it without Susan, LaVon, or Bobby, or Missy. There's just too many people that are, were waiting on these. I had pre-orders and I felt really bad having to tell everybody it's not going out. I mean, they hadn't even seen it and they were already ordering. So I can't thank everybody for their support. It's been amazing. All right, let's get this wreath done. All right, so what I did was, um, there's 18 ties. It is a 15 inch wreath frame. It's elevated. It's one I had that had the yellow um, tinsel ties attached to it. So what I did was I cut my mesh. It's 10 inch mesh. I cut it at 20 inches and I'm just doing um, a ruffle. All right, so I just saved the last one to do because I'm going to be putting um, bundles on here. So 
I didn't want to take up too much of everybody's time. You all know how to do a ruffle. So I thought it was best just to do that part of it. Thank you, Izzy. It, it was amazing. I have learned so much about printing and design and to be able to print my own fabric and have it do what I wanted it to do and have it totally match the sign has just been amazing. I don't know if you saw it, Ange, but there's my new, my new gnome. And there's my new sign and it's a match. So. All right, so what I did was this kind of, this um, mesh is a 10 inch mesh, like I said, cut at 20 inches. It kind of represents the honey in the sign. So that's why I chose this color. Now for the um, bundles here, I'm gonna be doing two, one of yellow and one of the black and white check all the way around. So I'll get started on those. I did at the top of the comments um, list my new Facebook page. If you haven't joined, um, go ahead and join. If you're interested in a gnome or a sign, you just go to that page and send me a private message. Thank you, Tammy. Tammy is one of my new puppy parents. A little late getting started because they're all pooping up there. So, so this was all strictly my design. Everybody having a good day? It's been nice where everybody was at. All right, so I'm just, these were cut at 10 inches, right? So it's 10 inch mesh, cut it 10 inches. Oop. So I'm just gonna be putting these all the way around. If I don't see your comments, thank you, Ange. I don't know why I thought that you were showing me yours and I'm like, I know Angie didn't get those signs. I corrected it. Jessica, Jessica Saul. <laughs> Seems like everybody's doing bee wreaths right now too that time of year. It's telling me it attempted to reconnect. Am I off or back on? Looks like I'm back on. <gasps> oh. I've been having an awful time, especially uploading to YouTube. I haven't been able to upload. It takes like three days for one video to upload. So I bought some extra equipment today, so I'm hoping we can get it straightened out. So see, we've got the black and white that's in the sign. We've got the honey color. We've got the yellow. This is gonna be pretty. if you guys can hear it, but I hear a lot of running feet up there. Little pitter-patter of paws. And I've got a bunch of signs that we will be printing soon that are brand new to this series. So keep an eye out for those. And I also, and this is so cool that it came today, 
I also have the leopard print ribbon and I have it for sale. I had a lady that I found that can make it for me. So it's gross green ribbon that has um, wire on it. And it's pretty. It just matches his hat and the sign perfectly. y'all wouldn't mind spreading the love, I'd really appreciate it. Hi, Jessica. Jessica, I am sorry. I thought that was Angie's wreath. And that's what I put it down as first. And then Angie contacted me and corrected me. So I went back and crack, corrected it. Yes, I'm happy you could catch it too. What do you think? Isn't he not adorable? Printed the fabric, the wings... That's all my, my uh, creation. And here's the new sign. Thank you, dear. And everybody wish LaVon a happy birthday. Today is her birthday. I won't share what number unless she wants to share it. <laughs> I know, right? And look what came in today. The leopard ribbon or cheetah. So the first layer was 20 inches of 10 inch mesh done in a ruffle. And then these uh, rolls were cut at 10 inches. And they're also 10 inch mesh. I just wanted something to break up all the yellow and honey colored. There you go. See that? Everybody's wishing you a happy birthday. And I can't tell you how much help LaVon was during this struggle of getting this sign off. <laughs> she was amazing. She has that eye for color and she's been very helpful. Hi, Nanny Dot. How you doing? got my tails cut at 13 inches Looks like we're done the bottom layer so we can start on the top layer Jessica, I love that bow today. That was awesome. You did the sign, Mama Proud. <laughs> it is so neat to see what everybody does with my stuff. I think I have more fun seeing everybody's different creations. I know it just kind of jumped at me you know I didn't have one roll of yellow 21 inch mesh or golden 
I got everything in the 10 inch, but I don't have that good a color selection on the 21 inch. So it's like, okay, we're going with this. And isn't it going to look awesome with the uh, cheetah ribbon? I'm loving it. It came in today, Levon. It arrived so I can get your stuff together and ship it out. The check is like a fabric mesh, so it's real soft. With the signs, I felt I found the right combination of um, sublimation paper. Um, I had some other signs here, and I'll tell you what they they did not come across as bright as my sign did. So I really think the uh, paper has a lot to do with it. It's a good quality paper. I paid a little more, but I think in the long run it's worth it because the colors came through so nice. Y'all spreading the love for me? I appreciate it. Got to get it out there that I'm open for business with the gnomes now and the signs. Because it's taken a long time to get to this stage. Yes, they will. And y'all liked my iMovie today? <laughs> I was just playing with my phone this morning, and I'm like, okay, let's give it a shot. What's the worst that could happen? It doesn't work, you know? That was so awesome. And I'm not really sending out messages. I, I just, I'm not liking the mini chat thing, so. Your best bet is to let's look for me here on Monday night at 6.45 and Wednesdays at 2. Because you know I'll be here. Okay. We're getting there. Got one more to go after this one. One more. And I, I purposely, I don't know if you can see it all. Um, I'll go ahead and at the end show you, but I've been hanging some of my other items back here were made with my signs. And the baby ones are available in kit form, so.
this one is right here. Okay, there we are so far. We've got our ruffle, 20 inch ruffle on the bottom. And then we have our two 10 inch um, rolls. Now, I think what I'm gonna do is, I think this sign is gonna go over here. And I think our gnome is gonna go here. So, that's looking good. All I did is use um, E6000 on the back with a little cable tie. I just, I don't like cutting the holes in the sign. I haven't found a hole cutter right recently that I like. They're all, like I had one from the jewelry section of AC Moore and that fell apart. So I'm looking, if anybody has a good one, let me know about it. Cause I'm sure some of my customers would prefer to have the hole cut. All right, so now we're gonna start putting the ties on. Now I decided to go with these two colors together. And then these two. Hi, Susan. Cause we have the, um, we have the daisy in the sign. We have the bee in the sign. We have the black with the white. We have um, the cheetah print. So, I think we got a good combination going here. It'll give you an idea if you decide you want to buy the gnome or the sign. It'll give you an idea of what ribbons look good with it. A cheetah ribbon. Any of the ribbons I show on my lives with my signs, I have quantities of it, so don't hesitate to ask if you don't want to purchase the ribbon outside, you know, I can ship it all together. I love daisies. They are my favorite. Next to lilacs. Well, I don't think there is a flower I don't like. <laughs> Let me raise you back up again because I lost your comments. Hi, Joanne. We did um, 20 inch ruffle on the bottom, and then we did two rolls, 10 inches, 10 inches. Now we're putting the tails on. I know, right? Love this cheetah ribbon. I was a little hesitant because it was gross green, but she reassured me it was wired, so I asked her to send a sample because I wanted to see for myself it if it would match the sign and if it would hold up. And uh, I really, really like it. In fact, I bought more off of her, some Easter egg also that matches my new um, bunny gnome sign that I'm going to be releasing soon also. And I bought plenty. So, in case anybody's interested, because you cannot find the cheetah print right now. 
It's like, why do they put stuff out there if they don't intend on supplying enough? See the curl it's got to it? I mean, it, it just looks like it's a simple, I don't know, it's not wire wire, but it's got a wire feel to it. I like it. I love the color. It's a little ragged looking. We don't like that. For sale, the ribbon, $1.25 a yard. I could not get them to come down. So, it's a little pricey, but I like it. I like how it makes things pop. I'm just making sure I'm not missing anybody. And I love this bee ribbon. If I could find somebody with a CNC machine, I would have had a little beehive and little bees to go with this, but I cannot find anybody. So I'm going to have to go out of the area and search. Because wouldn't that be cool to have the little bees and the little beehive to match the sign? To match the noom, to match the ribbon, I think that would be awesome. That's what I planned. So, I have to talk to uh, Hot Mesh Mom. I really wanted somebody local, but that's okay. guys wish Lavana happy birthday she's our birthday girl tonight anybody else have a birthday And if you're not subscribed to my YouTube channel, make sure, because if I get put in Facebook jail, that's where you'll find me. <laughs> this seems never ending tonight. Okay. 
Okay, one more on this level. And we'll go to the top. Y'all have nice weather today where you're at? Oh, bummer. That sounds beautiful, though. This, it hit about, I think, 60, 62. But then we, I'm, sh I'm thinking they said something about a cold snap coming. So, who knows, right? Georgette, thank you. Feel free to spread the love if you don't mind. It's appreciated. That's yucky. The tails are cut at 13 inches. Anybody wanted to know? God, I'm just loving this cheetah ribbon. Thank you all for coming on and supporting me. It means a lot. Because this sign in this gnome was a lot of work. I just hope you like it as much as I do. I 
Thank you, Georgette. It's a new ribbon that I have in stock. And I found the lady and I was so glad because the cheetah print is on my sign and I was planning on incorporating it in the wreath somehow and oh to find her when I did and boy she I said I want a sample because I don't want something that's real cheap you say it's gross grain and you say it's wired but I want to see a sample she got that sample right off to me so I was impressed at their customer service and their willingness to you know accommodate me and and then she got it. As soon as I got it, I said, I want it. And she has Easter egg ribbon that matches the, the new sign that's coming out for Easter. So I ordered a lot of that too. But you don't know how hard it was to, I could not find this bee fabric anywhere. And that's when I said, well, let's see if we can print our own. And that's how all that came about. So, it turned out awesome. I even printed the wings. The wings are also printed. And my designer, she's amazing. It's getting hot down here again. Jeez. It's not me, believe it. By the end of the night, it just gets warm in the house when it's been warm outside. All right, so we've got all our ties on there. Let's see where we're going to put. I didn't put a hook on this, did I? No. All right. Let's get our bee gnome over here. Get my needle. You know me and my tinsel ties. No pipe cleaners here. Stuck in this mesh. Went down the wrong hole. My gnome is debuting tonight. Isn't he handsome? You know, when you have a design all in your head and and then you put it all together, you're just... On, on the prints. You know, story of my life. Right, Levon? I've learned techniques. I've learned so much. And like I said, all along the way, everybody, Levon, Bobby, Susan, Missy, they've all been so supportive. Oh my gosh. And this time I added the gray, um, the Mongolian um, beard to him. Look at his wings. He's just spreading his wings. Okay, we'll put the sign on. Oop, that was my needle. My needle. 
can't lose my needle. Like I said, I use that E6000 on the back and the little cable ties. So, I'm thinking right about here. Let me see. Yeah. Oh, thank you, T. You're awesome. She's so supportive. Everything that could go wrong with this design went wrong with it, but we kept on going. Well, welcome, Kathy. Where are you watching from? And look, we've got the cheetah ribbon. If anybody is looking for it, I ordered a bunch. Just let me know. Man, you get so much on here and then you can't find your way through. <laughs> okay. And everybody was being understanding to all the pre-orders and I kept saying it's coming it's coming we thought we had the fabric then we didn't so then it was like okay we make our own fabric so there we go there's our B gnome and our new B sign There you go. He matches the sign perfectly. You've got your cheetah print, you've got your little antennas, you've got your daisy, you've got your beard. You've got this awesome striped fabric. We matched the um, the wings in the sign. I mean, I hand well, I printed the wings. All right. Now I think we'll go with a little bow up here and one right here. So let's do that, okay? Thank you very much, Angie. I forgot to leave myself some tinsel tie out to do the bow with. Well, we'll improvise. All right. I think we're going to do the black and white on the bottom. doing this at six and a half inches for this layer and I'm using the easy bow fighting up there. Somebody is not happy with somebody. I'm going to 
go just a little bit shorter on this level. I think I'm only going to do two. Okay. And, yes, I was going to say, don't tell me I left the cheetah ribbon upstairs. Let's keep, let's have the cheetah ribbon on the, no, we'll do it on this. We'll do this as four. go just a little bit shorter than the last layer. Like I said, it seems to be working good. It's not a real stiff, but it's not loosey-goosey either, this ribbon. next. And I'm going to go two. I know. I know. I got to get bed fabric in because all my babies go home with a custom bed with their names on it. So now I got to get some bed ribbon or some bed padding in. I used to use a special kind too, and of course the company went out of business so you can't get it anymore. Let me get some tinsel tie here. No, you don't, Georgette. It's where I will be listing my supplies, but you do not have to pay to join or, you know, you don't have to purchase there. What I did was I'm just showing you what I'm designing, what's coming up, and then also um, what people are doing with my, with my designs. How did that get over there? Silly ribbon. It's not belong over there. It belongs over there. There we go. Two on one side. Right? There we go. All right, now we got it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Nope. I would not put it in the comments if there's something you're interested in. I would um, send me a private message. Because Facebook is only putting out what's relevant. So if they don't feel it's relevant, they're um, tossing the comment. So I don't always see the comments. I try to go back and go through them, but I don't always see them. So if I don't get back to you, you'll know why. No, it's just it's just my page where I'll be sign selling my uh, products. I will not be putting them on Etsy. Only on my Facebook page and on my lives will you see them.
think I tied this too tight. It's not sitting up enough for me. So let's bring it up a little. There. That's better. It's very down in there. All right. I am screening people that join the group just, you know, to make sure we don't have a bunch of people on there that are just interested in stealing designs. We've had that happen. So. Cheetah print. Old gaze right in the middle of that, though. Let me see. Just thought I saw some yellow ones. the white ones.
think I like that. I like better down here on the side. Yeah, much better. I need to get busy on those bees. We need some bees in this. Maybe just a small daisy and let me see. I know, right? I love daisies. Remember my grandmother's house alongside of her driveway? She had all different kinds of flowers, and they were amazing to walk alongside her driveway and see all those flowers. zip tie here somewhere a little while ago. In fact, I'm going to take these ties out of here because there's no sense burying them. That's okay, Miss. You'll still be able to watch the replay.
Missy has this sign and this gnome going out to her tomorrow morning. She also got the ladybug and the ladybug sign. And we made her some ma magnets for her business. All right, let me turn this around. I just wanted to get more of that cheetah color up here. So I didn't want any more yellow or white. I just wanted these colors up here. I went with three loops on the daisy one and four on the cheetah. Just to give it that little pop of color up here. Maybe we need just a little something. Oh. Just a little one in there. Let me see. No. Nope. I need something right there. And I don't know what. Oh. Well, wait a minute. I had these over here. Let's see. Well, that's kind of different. Then I have some of these little beads we can pop around here. What the heck? We dare to be different, right? We're jacking it up and being different. Let's give it a little pop of different color. A little bit of green. There we go. Let's see if we can do anything with these. because I kind of want to pull off the leaves. So let's, let's do that. Let's just get a few little pops of green. Just making sure you're not hollering for me.
like that. Let's do that again over here with the other daisy. There's even some pit berries in there. Turn it around this way. Yeah. So. So I've got my three, but I think I'm going to just add this for a little visual there. Got these at Joann's. Looks better against the dark. There we go. That's One, two, three, and then three and one. Liking it. All right, let's glue this sucker. Little visual interest. that stem too short. So I'm going to go with this one because it's a little longer. And I'll be able to glue it better. There. Yes. We need some flowers for this bee to go buzzing around. Thank you, Yvonne. Now see, Levine, I have you on here and I have my other friend, my best friend, Yvonne. Hi, Bob. Bob helped out too, Bobby. She was amazing. All right. Get this in here. Look at that. Oh, I'm loving this. Sorry, I'm on fire and I'm loving it. I worked a long time on this design and it's all coming together. And that's an awesome feeling. A little visual interest here and it really pops against the cheetah ribbon and then this one up here we have to glue and then I think we're good unless I decide to make some bees and put some bees on here. <laughs> Bobby helped me. She's helping me with my Mac. Bobby is amazing when it comes to the Mac, and I am just bad shape. And I think we figured out what to do, Bobby. I went and got an adapter today. And it looks like we can hook the Ethernet right up to the computer because it's only running at two when we're uploading. So the problem is when we're uploading. So we're going to try the Ethernet cable tomorrow to see if that works any better. Do I want any more of this on here? So 
so hopefully we'll get it all worked out tomorrow. I figured if my son could do it, I should be able to do it. And it was awesome. I had so much fun and got so many compliments on it. So if I can do it, anybody can do it. All right, I think we, we're done with this. <laughs> All right, here she is, he. My gnome and gnome sign that we worked so hard on. It's done. So if you're interested in ordering, all you have to do is send me a private message with your zip code and your PayPal address, and I send you a, an invoice with the shipping added on, and boom. How we look. That's what we're going to try, and we're going to see if it works, but we're going to wait till tomorrow, because I might have to get a longer Ethernet cord. It seems to be, like, right over <laughs> the puppies, so I need to make some adjustments. Thank you, Missy. The sky's coming your way tomorrow with that guy, the other... We can help you with that, Georgette. I think maybe just this right there. Yeah, the little one right there. There we go. Let me see if I can zoom you up. Sorry for the hand in the way. But there you can see, this was the, the, the boy one that we did for a baby's room. This is for sale and that's for sale. Then you have your gnome with nothing bugs a lady or enjoy the little things. And this is the one we did the other day, which we can personalize this, put the little girl's name here and then room down here and then our deer track one. I go to sleep counting deer, not sheep. And that comes with the vinyl, it's a kit. So everything comes with it. Well, thank you very much. I'm, I can't wait to see what you do with yours, Missy. I'm, I'm anxiously awaiting the arrival of all your stuff and pictures. I can't wait to see pictures. Oh, I'll just show you some of the other signs for those of you that haven't seen them. We have the little ones that go on little floral arrangements. This one says, welcome baby. Follow the sun. You want me to hold it up again? And then we have the new sign, be kind. Follow the sun in, in the bigger. And I also have the matching ribbon for sale too. Seek beautiful things. Here's the other ladybug sign. Enjoy the little things. And then this is the bunny one that I found the um, Easter egg ribbon to match the sign. <laughs> Yay! And this one says bunnies and bling, it's an Easter thing. And then horses leave hoof prints on your heart. And then this one I designed for my husband and I matching license plates. And I have a whole new series of license plates coming out. So if you don't want the hearts, that's okay. I have other ones. 
and they're going to be for children's rooms too it'll you know like i have one with trucks on it one with a unicorn one with a ballerina and then you'll tell me the child's name and i'll personalize it for the child's room and then we have that in pink or in blue i mean so and see we also have the the pink to match the pink sign the pink bunny or sheep lamb whatever but there you go so i think we're done i thank you for being here to support me you guys are amazing no you can't <laughs> She's been awesome. It's her birthday today. Say happy birthday, LaVon. Thank you. All right, guys. You know I got puppies to go up and take care of. Lots and lots of puppy poop. <laughs> but again, I thank you for joining me. If there's something you saw that you're interested in, you just want to order the ribbon, I have the ribbon. So, now through Facebook, Georgette, you send me a private message either on Robin's Re 3 Classes and Supplies or Robin's Re Signs and More. And then I, I contact you with all the information. Okay. We have ribbon to match just about every sign I sell. So all you would need to do is get the mesh. Okay. Thank you, Tracy. I appreciate it. We actually uh, printed the um, fabric too. I learned how to print the signs and now I learned how to print my own fabric. So the ladybug is going to get revamped. It's going to be totally different also because now we have the ability to create our own fabric. I, I like the fabric I found, but when you stretch it, it just tends to lighten up some where this, when you stretch it, the color stays put. So um, that's going to be changing soon too. I know, and the custom ribbon, too, right? Yep. And we'll have ribbon to match the Easter egg one. Um, so, yeah, we are ready. That's what I'm trying to do with my signs. I'm trying to design them because I've seen it way too many times where somebody designs a sign and the colors are so off, you can't find ribbon to match the colors in the sign. So, if you can't match the colors in the sign, it's not going to look right sitting on top of your, your wreath and your ribbons. It's just not. So, when I design a sign, I already have the ribbon. So, we can do the color match. And that's what's so, so interesting about it. Except I could not find the cheetah print. Everybody is out. So, lo and behold, this lady was awesome. So, so yeah. And wouldn't that be cool if we could make our own ribbon? <gasps> uh oh. <laughs> I'd need a bigger, uh, bigger uh, heat press. Which I'm already looking into a bigger one. I wanted to start off small and see how it it went and it's going so i'm following hi rachel Shoo, excuse me this is our new gnome with our new sign and we printed our own fabric our own wings i printed our, my own wings printed the fabric and everything is matching so if you have any questions, you want to order ribbon, sign, gnome, 
whatever. The signs are 10, the gnomes are 22, and all you have to do is send me a private message. And I will get back to you. But that's the beauty of being able to design your own signs. You can make sure everything matches. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, you guys are awesome. You have no idea what went into this design. And when you think it's not going to happen, <laughs> you have a friend that tells you, put your lipstick on, girl, and get moving. So, thank you, LaVon. And thank you, Bobby. And thank you, Susan. All of a sudden, it's going to hit her. She Well, she's probably on her other call right now. So, but I, I hope you all have a great evening. I'm going to go take care of the puppies now and watch for me on Wednesday. I may do, I may do a special bee. I found out how to make a bee. So maybe we need to make some bees to add to our bee wreath. Okay. All right, guys, you have a great night and thank you. Bye-bye.